Hey what's up everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you the best apps for this month. A lot of great applications have been released and I'm sure that you'll find some useful applications from this video. So now let's get started. The first app on the list is Doze. So in Android 6.0, we saw a new feature called Doze which would reduce battery consumption when the phone is idle. So only few percent will be lost overnight and the battery stays longer. But for devices which has not been updated to Android 6.0, Doze brings that functionality. It does it by preventing the apps to download and update data, thus reducing battery consumption. The UI is clean here, nothing much in the app. Once you open this app, you can select to turn the feature on and then leave the phone. You can have the option to enable certain apps when this feature is active. So that's a great addition. So if you want certain applications to allow the data transfer, even when the phone is idle, you can do so. The settings also allows more controls too. You can enable this feature even when the screen is turned on and you can also enable the data transfer only through Wi-Fi. Overall, it's a great app and must have app for every non-Marshmallow device. Marshmallow users can also benefit from this app as it allows more control. The dose feature on Marshmallow only gets active after the phone is idle for 30 minutes. So Marshmallow users can also extend their battery life using this app. The next app on the list is TextBand. So this app will add a great feature to any Android device. So this app will allow you to create a shortcut for your frequently used text. So whenever you type any keyword, an option will appear on the top of the keyboard. Typing that button will put the text instead of the keyword. So this app can be useful while assigning date, time, pasting anything that's on the clipboard and many more. This feature will save you a lot of time. And adding a keyword is very easy. You just need to open the app and then press the add button and then add the keyword and the text and it's done. This app also allows you to back up and restore the data which is a good feature. So that's all about this app. I think it's a great app. It helped me a lot and it will be useful for you as well. The next app on the list is Snap. So it's a widget drawer app. You might have used some applications which allowed you to pull a menu by swiping from the corners. This app is similar but it integrates with the system so it feels natural. With this app enabled, swiping down from the top brings the normal notification drawer but swiping from the left brings a widget drawer designed by you. So there is no pulling by mistake here which caused a lot of annoyance by other options. The widgets here work as if they were present in a screen. You can interact with it. You can choose the size every widget occupies and, and change the order of the widget from the app. You can easily manage the layout from the app here. And you might not want to use this app if you have a lower spec phone. So in my OnePlus X here, this app caused lag sometimes and in lower spec phone this might cause a problem if you have many widgets added in the widget drawer. So overall this app does a good job adding a new feature in the phone that feels built in in the phone and is pretty useful. The next app on the list is Home UX. So it's a new launcher with a type of design that has never been seen before. So the UI here is clean and organization is the main feature of this app. There are two panels. On the web, you can do much. Panel below is similar to normal launcher. You can design the layout with widgets. But this launcher allows us to save the layout and quickly change it. So you can create as many layouts as you want and change it easily in few tabs according to your requirement. So in the above panel, as I said before, nothing much can be done. You can change the background and add change the icon pack from here. Many customization options for the panel below is available like changing the grid size, icon size and many more from the settings menu. Overall it's a launcher that you might like and I suggest you guys to try it because you can and that's the beauty of Android. And it's fun using different UI from time to time. The next app on the list is Cardboard Camera. So it's a camera app that takes 360 degree photos which can be viewed in VR. So the UI here is simple just like any camera app but this allows you to capture sound along with video. And the photos here can also be viewed without any VR so 
it will have all those motion gestures and it looks cool so that's all about this app just basically wanted to let you know guys that you can do this stuff with your phone and it's great to be able to capture memories in 360 degree photos the next app on the list is our sms so it's a replacement for the default sms app and does basically the same thing but it does it better with added features so the ui here is very similar to the messages app that we find in stock android and one of the great features about this app is that it displays heads up notification of any message that you receive and you can also reply to that message right from that notification you just don't need to go to this app to reply and in the side menu here you have a lot of options you have the option to snooze notification for desired amount of time then you can change the view from daytime to nighttime which is great you can archive messages and you can even change avatar for every person you can have different styles of avatar for different person so that's all about this app this app is still in beta and it's free so if you want to try it the links below in the description box the next app on the list is premiere clip famous for its desktop video editor adobe released a mobile version of premiere pro called premiere clip a mini video editor for mobile phones so the video editor here is very simple the ui is simple as expected but this app requires a little bit of practice though so from here you can add different clips and cut it down you can easily join them and you can apply different audio and video filters to the clips you can change the elements like brightness exposure shadows and apply filters from here again there are many options that you can choose from and from here you can change various audio settings you can add audio to the clips and this app is also integrated with the online platform so overall it's a good video editor but it's not a powerful editor but suitable for on the go video editing to post videos on social medias the next app on the list is basecam 3 so it's a project manager app which will be useful if you work in groups so this app will help you stay in track and communicate easily so this app suits any project so if it's an assignment for any class or any professional project this app will help you and it's available in many platforms so if anyone in a group uses an iphone they can use the ios version and there's also a web version available so in this app you can add a project then add the members in the project you can even add a client to show them the progress in the project then you can create to do's and assign them to a person and if anyone completes their part they can notify others from the app and there are many more features included in this app which is designed towards boosting the productivity while working in group there is also many features included like file upload discussion board and many more The next two apps on the list is released by Adobe. They are the Illustrator and the Capture CC. So Capture CC features three different apps released earlier this year. Brush CC, Color CC and Shape CC. So with this app you can edit any photos and convert it into any shapes, colors and refine and use them in your desktop app. You can capture a photo then convert it into a shape. So you can easily convert any photos into shape and use it in your other projects. The next one is Illustrator. So Illustrator Draw allows us to create layered images with the tools provided. So you can easily add layers, add import libraries from online account or from your local account. You can even import shapes from the capture app too. And there are a lot of tools that you can use to draw. So these apps can be handy and if you are not interested in such stuffs, using these apps will make you want to try and there are a lot of tutorials in this app that will help you learn if you want to get started. So that's all about this video. There were a lot of amazing apps released this month and I have included some of the best in this video and I hope that you guys have found some application for yourselves and if you know of any other apps that's worthy to be in such videos. To let me know in the comment section below 
and do check out my other videos or the apps of the month videos of previous month and other games of the month videos and to subscribe for more amazing gaming and app videos and other videos related to technology. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.